Hi, what's your name? My name is Ella. Ella, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. How old are you? I'm 40. 40? Good. What do you do for a living? I am a um, blogger. Blogger. Why was you hesitant to tell me that? Because it's private. So you don't want people to know? Um. Well, it's incognito. So my blog, it's like you can't tell that it's me intentionally. Okay. So that's what you do for a living, though? Yes. Oh, so you don't want to tell us more about it because you want to keep your anonymous. Exactly. Okay. Ella, say, um, you said Seattle, Washington? Yes. Seattle, Washington. Four, do you have any kids? I have two. Two kids. How old are your children? 23 and um, one will be 18 on Christmas. Okay. Same man? No. No. Have you ever been married? Yes. Okay. When did you get divorced? September 15th. It was finalized. Oh, this year? Yes. You just got divorced like a month ago. I've been waiting to get on the show. You said got to be single. So <laughs> hurried up and got that. Oh, you already Take ready, girl. Off. You've been divorced for a month and said it's time for the next one. Time to, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I've actually been dating. We've been separated for um, over three years. Okay. For about um, four years. Word knows that you don't have to answer, but do you want to share why you got divorced? Um, My... It was an abusive relationship and then he turned into a meth addict and um i mean it wasn't his i don't believe that it was his fault that he turned into a meth addict he was trying to um self-soothe soothe i guess um because our daughter died and he couldn't do because your daughter died yes oh, i'm so sorry to hear what happened to your daughter she was run over by the electric company and then overdosed at the hospital Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So you had three children in initially. Correct. Okay. Sorry to hear that. And then the, the death of your child just kind of took you guys apart? Pretty much. Yeah. I've heard about that. I've heard about when parents deal with the passing of a child, it's hard for them to stay married together. That's sad. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, okay. Um, so this is Ella. When's your birthday or Zodiac sign? November 25th. And I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right, so this is Ella, Seattle, Washington. She's 40, she's a blogger, two children. Um, she's a Sagittarius, was once married. Uh, what kind of man are you looking for, honey? Okay, I got a long list. <laughs> you have a long list. A okay. long list, I wrote it down. So he must believe in higher power. Um, he doesn't have to be like Christian or anything, but he definitely has to believe in a higher power. He can't be an atheist. Um, so it must be spiritual. Um, he needs to enjoy outdoor activities. Um, he must be calm, dominant, respectful, um, financially secure, loyal, responsible, honest, kind, authentic, thoughtful, a good communicator, athletic, <laughs> health conscious, tall, <laughs> I'm not finished, <laughs> affectionate, most emotionally available. He must be a gentleman, hygienic, has nice teeth, well-dressed, old-fashioned, um, patient, dress sophisticatedly, um, not skinny. If he is under 40, he must be above six feet tall. And if he is <laughs> over 40, he must be above five foot nine. Okay, explain to me the age requirements um, based on height. Um, because So I'm 40 years old and um, I, I do sometimes date guys that are, like guys try to date me that are like in their 20s and sometimes um 30s and i noticed that it's easier for me to date a guy that is um over um 30 if he is taller because i don't know i guess i equate that to him being like more of a man <laughs> if he's i don't know it's, it's kind of an issue of mine but i have it so and then uh if he's older he could be shorter yeah but he still has to be about five foot nine. Oh, okay. Um, are all these non-negotiable requirements on your list? Um, majority of them are, yes. What's negotiable? What's negotiable? Um, if he has facial hair, <laughs> which I didn't even say that. I do, I love facial hair. Um, I also like dark skin guys. Um, so that is negotiable. Um, I, 
I date all nationalities, so um, but I do prefer um, a black man, so um, that's negotiable. Um, however, he can't be like super white, and by super white, I mean I mean like culturally as well as his appearance. Like he has to be under ten, so I can't have like an Irish dude that's just like hella pale. No, thank you. Um, yeah, so that. Yeah. Um, he has to be, I think you mentioned athletic. So he has to be athletic. Yes. And so I, that's with age range too. So I like guys that are bigger. I, he can't be skinny. So skinny is definitely a non-negotiable. Like I can't do a really skinny guy. Um, that is for another reason. Um, but yeah, I don't like really skinny guys. So, um, and I think that has to do with like, he seems like not really a grown man if he's really skinny um that too so um yeah can't be Work so on, now what are your deal breakers i'm assuming you wrote that down i i did okay so one deal, deal breaker that i have is that i do not want to date a guy that um treats women that he's newly dating based off of um his previous relationships so i've dated guys that are like um Oh, I used to give, you know, girlfriends a, a credit card when they go out of town or something. And then you're like, you're going out of town with my credit card. And he's like, oh, I don't do that anymore because like the chick, the last chick kept my credit card when we broke up and she was like booking hotels or something, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm not okay with you telling me, you know, things that, you know, you do in the beginning of the relationship and then tell me, oh, you're not going to do that for me because it, it went poorly in, in the relationship previously. That's not okay. So nobody that's going to use his past experience to negate how he moves forward in his current experience? Exactly. But don't I, we all do that though? Yes, we do kind of. We do kind of. But like, like I said, this guy literally did these things as a selling point. Like he's told all these things that he's done as like, this is why you should be with me. But then when it comes to, when it comes to like, okay, well, yay, we're in this relationship now. He's like, oh yeah, I'm not doing that because this happened in, in that relationship. And oh, I'm okay, not doing so that. I got it. So what's some other deal breakers? Um, I don't want a liar. I can't have a lazy guy. Um, he has to be hygienic. Like I, I can't have him stinking. Um, and, um, not a cheater. So, okay. and I'm, the thing is about it though, um, I, I'm not going to say that this guy has to be extremely exclusive to me, but I definitely have to feel like I'm, I'm the most important person in your life. So you're open to him having other women, as long as you're the main girl. No, I need to feel like I'm the most important person in your life. So if you can accomplish seeing other people while still making it so. I feel like I'm the most important person in your life. Then, yeah, how about it? Most important person as in the females he's dating or just overall? Most overall, important the most important person in your life. Over his, what if he has children? Yeah, I would prefer him not to have children. Oh, what's the age range you want to date? Um, I'm going to say 30 to up, as long as he can get up and walk and, and athletic. But so you have two kids, so he if, can't have kids? If they're grown, like my kids are grown. Okay, your kids are grown. So if he has grown kids, you that's fine. Okay, now back to my original question. He still needs to make me feel like I'm the most important person in his life. So you want to feel more important than his own children? Yes. Would he be more important than your children? No. But Girl, I'm going to make him feel like he is. Girl, now look. Mm -hmm. I'm going to allow you to speak and put out there in the universe, but that's a crazy as hell request to say that a man needs to make you feel more important than the people he brought into this planet. And you just said yourself, he would not be more important than your children. Right. So you don't think that's kind of crazy to say, I need to be See, this more is what you're not, you're not listening. Cause I, I didn't say he ha I have to be more important. I said, he needs to make me feel. But like, why, why do you have to feel like... more important than his own children? I just, I his mama. So you, gotta I just... More so you gotta be more important than his mama too? I just don't want his mama or his children to be an issue in our relationship. That's what I mean by He's that. He's just meeting you. This man, you you about you, to meet him for the first time 
whenever you meet him, these people been with him his whole entire life, and you need to jump the line before his mama and his kids as an importance in his life? If we're in a relationship together, I you separate yourself from your previous relationships, and we are one, and that's what Who I want. the divorce in your last relationship, you or your husband? I did. Why did you want a divorce? I told you why. He Tell me became, again. Tell me he, became again. he was addicted to meth. Oh, okay. He was on something. Yes. Ooh, okay. Let's keep going, Ella Child. So um, you said, tell me the age range one more time that you would date. You're 40. 30 and above. 30 and above. All right. So this is Ella Seattle, Washington, 40, Sagittarius, a vlogger. Uh, she's going to keep that a secret. Two grown children. Um, all right. Does he have to look? You told me this week over. Does he have to look a certain way? Yes. He has to be um, attractive and presentable and not skinny. And uh, not skinny. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Yes. Over six figures. Over six figures? That's a millionaire. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. That's so perfect. so are you saying he has to be a millionaire or do you, are you saying he has to be high six figures? High six figures. Yes. What's the lowest six figures you would date? Um, 300,000. 300,000. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming you normally date men in this category. Yes. So what's going on with them? I haven't settled for anyone. Um, what's been the issues? They are not meeting all my requirements. Okay. So Ella, you're fine. Like if you don't find a guy to fit everything, you'll be okay with being by yourself. It sounds like. Yes. I have okay. so many vibrators. Say again. I have lots of toys. You have lots of toys. Okay, so you're willing to either you get what you desire or you'll you'll stick with your toys and find happiness that way. Absolutely. Okay, that's fair. Um, all right, let's do the Kendra Cam, baby. We gotta see your full body. I don't know if you can see me. Okay, yeah, I could tell you're thin. Yeah. Okay. So Ella, when was your last relationship? I know you just got a divorce, but you said you've been dating, right? Yes. Um, my last relationship was about, um, I think it, it ended in March. End of March. Okay. You don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? I am not going to answer that. Okay. They want me to ask you, uh, why would, you, so you wouldn't date anybody that made less than 300,000. So if a guy made 200K, uh-ohs. Ella? Ella, are you still there? I'm not sure if she went away. Onyx Monopoly. Hey, Onyx. Onyx paid $200, so I'm going to read what Onyx says. I have learned that, I have learned is many of us will die alone shallow. I met some amazing gentlemen, all shapes, sizes, ethnicities over the past few months, and I no longer care about height and weight. We can lose weight laying down. Height is irrelevant. And ugly heart, spirit, and soul is dead. Um, hey, Onyx, boo. Let me say this. This is why I always ask this question. If you don't get what you want, are you okay with being by yourself? And once you tell me you're okay as... Oh, Ella's back. I think you're back. You back, Ella? What happened? Back. Yes, I'm back. Sorry. What happened? The screen was back. ringing. Huh? Oh, your phone, was, phone ringing. was ringing. Yes. Okay, so did you hear what Onyx said? Do you want me to read it again? Oh, no, but yes, please read it again. Okay, so Onyx says she paid $200 to make this remark. I have learned that many of us will die alone being shallow. I met some amazing gentlemen, all shapes, sizes, ethnicities over the past few months, and I no longer care about height and weight. We can lose weight lying down. Height is irrelevant. A ugly heart spirit is dead. Do you want to respond to that? No, I agree 100%. I mean, to each his own. Do you think you're shallow? Um, no. Why not? I I think a lot of people want what they want. And when we figure out what we want, we should stick to it. We shouldn't lower our standards because we haven't found what we want yet. Just keep looking. So what does lowering your standards mean? So like if a guy had, if he treated you well, um, but wasn't your height requirement to you, that would be lowering your standards? Well, it kind of depends on what it is my height requirement. Because like if I'm allowing this guy to be in my life to treat me well, then obviously... I there must be something about him. So I, I wouldn't be lowering my standards because something about him made him not, it not matter if he's in my life to treat me well, but. Okay. All right. So you have, you have your right to your salary preference. 
Um, but do you care to say why you wouldn't date a guy that made 200K? Well, it depends on where he lives. Like I live in Seattle and I travel to like Hawaii a lot. So um, in those places, um, 200K is like barely anything. So when you got divorced, I'm assuming y'all were separated, right? How long were y'all separated for? We were separated for three years. For three years. Okay. Okay. Um, Almost four, actually. I'm trying to think of our last... Oh, our last question, you said... Um, your last question was March. Okay. So, yeah. Ella, why do you think you're single? Um, Because I am super um, particular. You know that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm... So you enjoy you you enjoy alone time. I do, I do, yeah. Okay. And I um, I also enjoy being pursued, and I'm pursued a lot. Okay, you're pursued a lot. So why don't you settle or not? I don't want to use the word settle. I hate that word. But if you're pursued a lot, why aren't those things leading to anything long term? If that's what you desire. Because they're not what I desire. None of those people are what I desire. So the people that you desire, are they trying to pursue you? I haven't met any that I desire yet. Like I said, I have a long list. Right. And so once I get, you know, you have to check off the list while you're dating people. You check off the qualities that they have. Like, I don't know how respectful this guy is when I meet him. I don't know how loyal he is when I meet him. I don't know how responsible or honest or kind or authentic he is when I first meet him. So it's going to actually take me to get to know this person, to know these things about him. So for the people who says that I'm shallow or whatever, um, I forgot what they said I was, but um, yeah, most of these things you actually, for him to be a good communicator, I, I, I actually have to communicate with him to know these things. So okay. listen, yeah. so listen, I already know how my page is and my followers. So there's two questions I want to ask you and you might not even care to even answer these questions, but I would like to get your opinion. Salary. I feel like a lot of people are going to say that you don't deserve a man that makes that type of money, that that type of man that makes 300000 or more is not going to wipe you up or settle down with you for whatever reason. Do you want to respond to that comment that will be said? I'm sure of it. To me, that's just hilarious. Um, for someone to say what I don't deserve, it's like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. And then... Um, um, another comment, I'm quite sure people are going to say that your list is um, unrealistic and there's too many things up there for that, for you to find that person. Um, do you care to respond to that comment that will be said? Whoever says that, they can go and settle for whatever. And that's why they probably end up with a trash person or be treated poorly in their relationship. I mean, uh, the thing is to each their own. If you want to settle for whatever's on your list, if you want to have two things on your list and go with whatever do, just be a pick me, whatever. I'm not a pick me. I, I pick what I want. And if, if you're not what I want, then I'm, why would I waste my time? It's like, what? So you if feel as though your vibrator, a battery is better than a human being that might not have everything on I, your list? No, I feel like my vibrator is better than a hostile guy that is too um, lax. He can't be a leader. He's irresponsible, unrespectful, unloyal, um, dishonest, uh, unkind, inauthentic. You know, I, I, that's what I think my vibrator is. If, if he's not meeting most of these criteria, yes, I think my vibrator is way better than that. And I also have a, a, a cuddle pillow. A cuddle pillow? Pillow, yes. But what if something, God forbid, what if something happens and you need a human being to help you with something? Do you think about that at times or no? No, I do. But like, I, I, I just don't feel like. Because I mean, real quick, because what, cause when, you, when you bring a vibrator, you're pretty much demoting a man to a sexual activity. Like you're no. just kind of, but well, let me finish. You're just kind of saying I have my, either I'm going to use my vibrator or I'm going to get my list. But only thing that the vibrator can offer you is sexual pleasure. It can't be there when you have a bad day. It can't be there when you're sick. It can't be there if God forbid something happens to you and somebody got to make a phone call so for someone to come caress you and make you feel better. So, you know, it's like you're just comparing a male to the sexual activity opposed to everything else a man can bring into your world. Right. But if the guy is disrespectful, if he is dishonest, a bad communicator, if he is unhealthy or ineffectionate or un emotionally available, I mean, yes, I would prefer to have my vibrator. See, it's like 
there, the, there, these are things that I need. I don't want a stinky guy laying in a bed with me if he's unhygienic. So, so, so to be clear, a man for you can only please you sexually? No, I. that's why good communicator is not just pleasing me sexually. If he is kind and authentic and loyal, that's not just pleasing me sexually. But, but no, but do you understand what I'm? But we, but I, I, I guess I'm trying to get you to understand what I'm saying because you're saying either the list or a vibrator. You're not right. So, my, well, my point is the things that are on my list aren't just things that um, help me sexually. But I, what I'm saying is, if these things that are on my list, if I can't get that, if I can't get these things, like these are very important things that I need. It's not like I'm asking for him to be a trillionaire or fly me to London to go get dinner or something. I'm asking for him to be financially secure, respectful, honest, kind. Well, you're, asking for him to make, you're asking for him to make over $300,000, which that is okay. How many, there's a lot of people out there to make over $300,000, Kendra, lots of them. I mean, listen, I live in a world where that is true. I mean, but um, I will say a lot of the men that do make that amount of money and more, well, you already did mention you don't have to be the only woman. You say you just got to feel like the most important woman. So you're open to him having other women. Like I said, as long as I feel like the most important woman in, in his life, as long as I feel like the I'm most important person. Question clearly. If he can, if he can, no, I'm asking this question clearly. Could he have mm -hmm. other sexual partners as he's dating you or being with you? Um, I'm I'm going to say no because I, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know it exists. I need to feel like I'm the most important person in his life. So you want but to be I, in a I do know that most guys I do. So know you'll be okay guys. with being in a relationship delusional. Like you'll be okay with being in a, with a man. Well, it's not delusional. You know, it's, it is it's delusional not. because you're saying you don't want to know the truth. You're saying you're saying as long as I don't know about it, it's okay. That's what you're telling me. Because I'm asking you the question clearly, and you said you got to feel like the most important person. So exactly. it's kind of contradicting. So like you're saying, as long as I don't know about it. I'm saying if he if he's really, if he's good enough to make me feel like, like if he's sneaky enough to have his little side piece and he's still making me feel like I'm the most person important person in the world. And I'm still don't, I never see him texting anybody or calling anybody. If he's that sneaky, heck yeah, have your side check. If you can do that, then do it. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Ella? Because I'm traditional, I'm loyal, I'm playful, I'm a great cook, I clean, I take care of my man, I'm honest, I am adaptable, I am thoughtful, and I'm nurturing. Okay. This is Ella, Seattle, Washington. He doesn't have to be in Seattle, Washington, right? No. Okay, you said you're open to all races, correct? Correct. All right. She's a blogger. She won't share the blog with us. She has children. I'm assuming you're done with that, or do you want more kids? I do not want more kids. Okay. Um, strong 300K or more policy, correct? Correct. All right. And all right, let's do it, Ella. This is Ella. How do you want the guy to reach out to you? Oh, she'll date 30 and above. How yeah. do you want the guy to reach out to you? You can reach me on Instagram, and that is MS underscore P-R-I-S-S 360. Let's do it again. So spell it slowly. M-S dot, or no, underscore, sorry. M S underscore P R I S S. I think it's 808. You don't know your Instagram page? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 808. Let's let's be clear. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 808. It's M S underscore P R I S S 808. All right, let me check real quick to see. Um, yes, please. <laughs> yes, it is Miss Chris 808. I'm getting a bunch of new followers right now. All right. Chrissy, oh, so the um, SS808? MS underscore P-R-I-S-S-808. Yep, Ella Smith. Yep, that's me. Okay, so it's MS underscore P-R-I-S-S-808. Ella, girl, you know, we got to agree to disagree, but it's your life. And that's the great thing about it. Any decision that you make is not going to affect me. It's going to affect you. And the one thing that you said is you will have a vibrator before you don't have what's on your list. And that is your life. And you have the right to to, to say that <laughs> and accept whatever comes with it. Well, but I would like for you to keep me posted and let me know if the man 
on that paper exists and reaches out to you. Thank you, Kendra. You have a wonderful night. You too, baby. Bye, boo. Bye.